In 1990, right after the Chernobyl disaster, Italy decided to stop using nuclear power. Then, following the Fukushima disaster in 2011, Germany closed down eight of its nuclear plants. Many countries are stepping away from nuclear energy, going for alternative energy sources instead. But not every country is on the same path. America is planning to upgrade a half a century old nuclear power plant into the biggest power source in the country. Take a closer look at Plant Vogel in Georgia, USA. For those in Georgia, Plant Vogel might be familiar. It's a nuclear facility originally planned in the 1970s before major nuclear accidents changed the face of nuclear energy. During that era, America was eager to expand its nuclear capabilities, and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission was quickly approving new plants. Plant Vogel was one of those plants, featuring two separate units, each with its own reactor and two cooling towers standing 558 feet tall, taller than many skyscrapers back then. The cost of constructing Plant Vogel was substantial. At approximately $9 billion initially, the cost would be close to $20 billion in today's dollars. This highlights a significant challenge with nuclear facilities. They are incredibly costly to build. If circumstances had varied even slightly, Plant Vogel might not have reached completion after its start in 1979. While the construction of the project was just starting, something went wrong at another nuclear plant in Pennsylvania called Three Mile Island. One night, a valve closed by itself and stopped the water flow to one of the reactors. This didn't cause a lot of damage, but it made many people in America wonder if nuclear power was really safe. Because of this, the group in charge of nuclear safety, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, stopped giving out permits to build new nuclear plants. This was the end of the rush to build more nuclear plants. Almost half of the nuclear projects that had been approved, and some that had already started building, were stopped. Many of the companies working on these projects lost a lot of money, and some even went out of business. Despite this, not all nuclear plants were stopped. Plant Vogel and a few others kept being built. They had to follow new safety rules that made building them even more expensive. But they kept going, and even after a big accident at Chernobyl in 1986, the building of Vogel didn't stop. Talking about starting a nuclear power plant after incidents like Chernobyl and Three Mile Island might sound risky, but it's important to note that nuclear power can be safe if the plant is well managed. The disaster at Chernobyl happens because of several serious errors, like using a poorly designed reactor and having under-trained staff. The team at Plant Vogel was confident they wouldn't make these same mistakes, and as it turned out, they were right. The two reactors at Plant Vogel have been running smoothly ever since they started. In all these years, there's only been one minor safety issue back in 1990, just four years after the plant opened. A truck accidentally backed into a power line, causing a 15-minute power outage. Even then, the situation was handled quickly, and there was no harm to the reactors or the nearby area. Besides that incident, Plant Vogel has been operating smoothly for decades, producing just under 20 million megawatt hours of energy each year. That makes it one of the top 10 power sources in America. It shows how nuclear power can be a big benefit when everything is done right. That's why the owners of the power plant, with support from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, decided to expand the project. Now it's time to introduce Vogel 2.0. After the halt in nuclear development following the Three Mile Island incident, nothing new was commissioned in the 1980s or 1990s. However, the attitude in America started to shift in the early 2000s. When George W. Bush became president, he launched a program called Nuclear Power 2010. His goal was to set up new nuclear generators across the country, and he was ready to offer generous subsidies to help make it happen. Two decades after the Three Mile Island disaster, nuclear energy was back in style. The incidents at Three Mile Island and Chernobyl had faded into the background, replaced by successful nuclear stories from around the country. 
One such success was the Paolo Verde power station in Arizona, which, like Vogel, was planned in the 1970s and had thrived despite the cutbacks in the 1980s. With three reactors, Paolo Verde was the biggest power source in the United States. By 2006, inspired by President Bush's new nuclear program, the team at Vogel set out to surpass Paolo Verde. They planned to add two more reactors to their site, bringing their total to four. In an earlier time, such a proposal would have been quickly denied, but the climate had changed. Now, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC, was more open to such plans. Vogel got their permit in August 2009, and they weren't alone. Between 2009 and 2007, 13 companies applied for licenses to build 25 new nuclear reactors. It felt like a return to the boom days of the 1970s. However, just like before, this surge in nuclear energy didn't last. In early 2011, the Fukushima disaster reminded the world of the risks associated with nuclear power. The nuclear uphill quickly lost its momentum. People became nervous and scared, much like in the past. Some permits from the NRC were cancelled and others were put on hold indefinitely. But once again, Vogel managed to keep going. The NRC required them to update their health and safety measures, especially to protect the new reactors from seismic events like the earthquake that hit Fukushima. Despite new safety measures, not everyone was convinced they were enough. Environmental groups and anti-nuclear protesters even took the project to court, but they were ultimately unsuccessful. In March 2013, construction began on two new nuclear reactors at the Vogel site. By 2023, one of these reactors was finished and connected to the power grid, and the other is nearly ready, undergoing final tests before it starts up in 2024. These two reactors mark a major milestone. The first new nuclear units built in America in over 30 years. According to Vogel's official website, each new reactor weighs more than the Statue of Liberty. The construction required as much steel as 25,000 cars and enough concrete to lay a sidewalk from Miami to Seattle, over 3,107 miles. This massive amount of steel and concrete is used mainly to contain any radiation. The reactors are not only huge, but also equipped with cutting-edge safety features. They have an automatic shutdown system that works without human intervention or even a power supply. These new units also use fewer pipes and valves than older designs, making them cleaner, safer and more efficient. Once both are operational, these reactors will double Vogel's original output, making it the largest single source of energy in the US. But achieving this breakthrough was costly. The new reactors together cost around $35 billion, adding to the $20 billion already spent on the original reactors. It's interesting to note that while countries like Germany are shutting down their nuclear plants, Vogel has doubled its capacity and become the most crucial power source in the US. Considering the massive costs and the risks associated with nuclear power, do you think investing in such large-scale nuclear projects is the right path forward for sustainable energy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Megabuilds for more fascinating videos. We'll be back soon.